We just add up the falls that each team has won. The team that has the most falls to their credit then are the winners of the match. And Hans Schroeder and the Gestapo would import it. One fall up. It is uh, important because uh, they can now wrestle to a draw. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't necessarily have to get a victory in a second fall. They just have to keep from being pinned. Fall well, is all there is to it, as a matter of fact. While they're getting back in the ring, let me remind you folks that all the uh, ticket requests to TV5 Studio Wrestling, please include a stamp self-addressed envelope. I know everybody tells me they put them in there, but we get so many of them that have no stamp self-addressed envelope. They're back in. Coco Ware starts against the Gestapo. Bell time. And here we go, Davey. Coco Ware starting against the Gestapo. That's the way fall one ended. That's the way fall two must begin. Gestapo with a headlock. Big broad arm. Gestapo puts Coco on the mat. Coco and Dallas Montgomery looking very good in a long first fall, but uh, in the end, the Gestapo got the pin on Coco Ware to take that first fall of action. As referee Jerry Calhoun checking, make sure there are no chokeholds going on. Coco trying to power his way out of the headlock. You can do it. But when you have your hair pulled, it's kind of difficult. And that's exactly what happened to Coco. Coco again, forcing his way out of the hole. Almost had it. He was trying to drive the Gestapo down to the mat. But he was yanked back into the headlock. Coco moving around. Breaks out of the hole. Pressure by Coco Ware. <laughs> Coco gets the tag, and here's Dallas Montgomery, the first time Dallas has been in the second fall. He appeared in the first fall a couple of times, and we had uh, talked about Coco Ware's fine drop kick. Dallas showed a rather respectable drop kick himself against the Gestapo and Hans Schroeder. Dallas makes the tag, Coco Ware coming back in. He's had a little while to get a rest. He goes right to work on the Gestapo side of his foot. Coco makes the tag on Dallas Montgomery. Good tag team moves by Coco Ware and Dallas Montgomery here. That you must keep the fresh man in the ring. Tagging often like that is uh, the way to do it. <laughs> Dallas Montgomery working on the Gestapo. They've been able to keep the Gestapo in there this entire uh, second fall. Three minutes, 22 seconds gone now in the second fall. First fall went to Schroeder and the Gestapo. Dallas with a bar on the left arm. Not a hold you're going to get a pin out of, but certainly one that wears down your opponent. Gets him tired. Maybe make it a little easier to get him in position for a pin. Gestapo trying his best to shake Dallas Montgomery.
Dallas hanging on. He's got a good hold set up. He's maintaining. Oops, the Gestapo backs him into the rope. Fires him across the way. Dallas steps over. Look out, Gestapo rolls it down to the mat. Gestapo makes the tag, and here comes Big Han Schroeder in. Five minutes have expired in the second fall. Schroeder with Montgomery in the air. He body slams him right in the center of the ring. Oh, drops down right on his head. Cover, one, two. Two counts for all he gets. Coco there to help out. But I think oh, winding up that left arm, putting a bar on it. And that is not good for Coco Ware and Dallas Montgomery because it's a hole that if the Gestapo can just maintain it for a little less than a minute now. He and Schroeder as the tag team are going to have themselves a victory in this match. Coco has to make an offensive move trying to go for the pin. 30 seconds to wrestle is all there is to it. Coco and Montgomery look like they're going to have to take a loss on this one because of that first ball. It's Coco, shoulder butt. Gestapo hits the mat. Go for the pin, Coco. He rolls it down. One, two, just a one count. One count is all he got. I thought he might have a chance to get it. Just a count of one. Gestapo walks over. Time is...